Welcome back all you chipsters. We haven't said that in a while. We haven't done a whole lot of chipping in a while. We get a lot of questions on here and it's a that's one thing why I made this YouTube channel many years ago was because I thought I want to make a YouTube channel to explain to people what I do because one of the most popular questions I get asked all the time is in the middle of winter in the middle of Michigan. You get asked a lot of questions like, boy, it must be freezing cold where you work. No, not really. And then I, think I got the question last week. I even got the, boy, you must be really hot at work. No, we're good. So I get that quite, I get all kinds of questions that people don't understand because you say the word logger and they're like, oh, you're, you cut logs, which actually I have been doing that. But we do a lot of chipping. That's our kind of our main, our main, uh, our goal there. So we get a lot of questions because this is interesting to a lot of people. This is why people watch a lot of logging videos. That's why it's so popular because there's just so many interesting things and everything breaks down every day. And the people are like, you got to be crazy. Do you see that right there? I did that. I hit it with a piece of firewood the other day. Anyways, we get a lot of questions like people don't understand, and that's why I made this channel because it's really interesting to everybody. Because everyone's like, "Man, this is really interesting." Like, you don't see this stuff every day because we're out here in the middle. As you can tell, we're just surrounded by woods, and that machine there is like a nasty machine, and it can do all kinds of cool stuff. And they're like, "Well, I've never seen anything like this before." And it's like, "Yeah, because we're out here in the middle of the woods, and we don't ever get to see anybody in our lives. We sit here for hours and hours a day." We work some days, I mean, maybe 17 hours a day sometimes, we're out here working. So, it's like you make this YouTube channel, and if people are like, they don't understand it because it's a bunch of stuff they've never seen before. And the one guy says, you know, you have all different kinds of questions because nobody understands what's going on out here. So it's like, well, I'll try to explain it to the best of my abilities because I've been doing this now for, I think it's been 13 years I've been working here. And... Um, so you just, it kind of becomes normal to you. And everyone else, it's not normal. So everyone else is like, why would in the world are you doing that? And it's like, well, why wouldn't we do that? You know what I mean? And so it's like, everybody's always interesting questions. And some of them, you just scratch your head. And some are like, hey, that's a good question that I haven't actually answered in the over a thousand videos we've put on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like there's so, there's so many. I dropped a log the other day and bent that. It didn't really bend it though. It just kind of pulled the, pulled the rubber a little bit. See how that one's nice and snug as bug rug, and that one's not? It fell all the way from up there. That little bugger there, these things are slippier and snap. For some reason, the bark's, the bark, the bark is falling, slipping still. And I don't understand that. The bark slip means you see how the bark's falling off? It just falls off still, which it does in the spring, but now it's like, it shouldn't be doing that still, but it still does, and it fell off. So it's like, that's weird. So, anyways, you get questions, and every now and then you get, you get the ones that shake your head and you get the ones that kind of tick you off and you get the ones that are like, hey, thanks so much because somebody enjoyed a video that I took hours to make that I've been doing this every day now for years. Anyways, so I got one the other day and I said, oh, that's interesting because if you don't know, you don't know. And so he asked me a question and the question was, if you don't know by now, I'll tell you why we're doing all this is we're spinning around in circles and it just keeps going. Just keeps going. Watch this. And it just keeps going. And it just keeps going. Oh! You could put a rope on the end of that boom and you could sling something <laughs> if you wanted to. Anyways, the question was if you turn it around a certain amount of times, don't you got to turn it back around? The, the, the simple, quick answer is that no. Because there's something underneath us that takes care of all those problems. So we'll get out and I'll show you guys it. It is the worst possible thing to work on. I've done it before. If you have a hose blowing, it's the worst possible thing to work on. And if you have to have one rebuilt because it leaks all the oil out, it's the worst possible thing to work on because there's all kinds. It's a it's a thing that comes down. And there's hoses coming out of each section. And it's in the middle of this big tube is a bunch of sections that are shut off with O-rings to each section. And each section, this is what it does. We rev it back down. We don't need to have it revved up. <coughs> pardon my, pardon my, I don't have the Rona, but we're waiting on a skitter guy because he's, he's, I mean, look at all the wood we got up here. It's just crazy amount of wood we got up here. We're ready to go. Where, where's the chipper at? Well, the chipper's down doing pine. Well, yeah, skitters broke down everywhere in the state of Michigan. So the hoses that go down through this. Okay. Now what they, they design these is your engines up here with you. Okay. We've, that's how all these are designed, but obviously the, the question was, 
how the hose is going there because you're running all these hydraulic functions that run down from there they go through here then they come through the tube and they come up under your machine and then oh look we got hoses for our stabilizers we don't have only that that this 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 machine is run a certain way but then we also have a drive this machine drives itself and there's steering up there that runs off of a cylinder that goes left to right and then you have a drive and you have a transmission right here gear selector get it where you want you can get to see we have different hydraulic stuff that's controlled from this right here you can run your saw you can run your motor you can run your drive you see okay we'll click on the drive you ready watch the wheels oh would well, you just that section of that accumulator is moving that right there now same button you hit loader the same two buttons that run your steering wheel your steering wheel. You're, you're turning up there. Run your saw. So, that thing that's in the middle runs all this other stuff and you're able to go around in circles and circles and circles and it doesn't affect anything. So, on the chipper, you can't do that. It actually has stops underneath you from going all the way around because them have hoses that go up underneath into your cab. So therefore, you can't do that on your loader, on uh, the chipper. Um, each one of our slashers, our loaders like this are the same. Everything on the chipper is the same. You can't go all the way around because there is hydraulic hoses that come through. You do have swivels on them, but even then, you all are real smart. If you have four of them with swivels on them, they can't all turn like this. And you know, you get what I'm saying. So therefore, you have to have this underneath you. Um, because this is still running, but obviously your hoses here aren't going underneath because they don't need to. So, yes, you can go in circles and circles and circles on this thing. On a chipper, you cannot, okay? So every machine's different. Depending on what you're running, they're all different. Certain things can go around and around and around. That grapple on that machine can spin around and around and around and around and around. That's how that's designed because, <coughs> man, it's some ugly stuff. It's big, though. Um, in the top of that, in, straight in the back of that there's a motor that turns the whole thing and then the hoses shoot down same exact thing and I'll tell you something else that's a 300 and uh, is it 50 degree turn head on that one now that's another thing is they make those saw heads on there some of them are continuous 360 degree rotate you can they go around and around and around and around those hoses that you see there they go through and into the cylinders they cannot go all the way around that one you do have to back off and do whatever you did if you would you can go around twice you have to go back around the other way otherwise you have a lot of problems they start pulling the hoses putting pulling fittings everything like that so everything's different forestry is a whole different ball game forestry like is behind everybody else as far as like the up and coming the one I would discuss this the one thing nice about the heat it has you know thermostat control this is the first machine I have ever run that has that. Um, most forestry equipment doesn't. It's either heats on, medi on low, medium, or high. That's how they all are. And you either get froze out, you get heated out. Um, and then some of them you just have to have the window open all the time because neither of them work right. A lot of times racing doesn't work in forestry because we all, loggers are a different breed. We're stubborn. We don't like change. I like change. But we don't like fix the stuff because you got to get the wood out. You got to get the product out. And that's the hardest thing about logging is you got to buy the timber, you got to produce the timber, then you got to sell the timber. So anything breaks down in there, you're in trouble. If you ain't got the equipment, if you ain't got the manpower, if you ain't got the pickup trucks to get you there, if you ain't got the you know right timber for the right time because the mills want it at a certain time and not at a certain time, and well they have too much of this, and that's all you have bought, so you gotta do something else. And oh, this mill's gonna shut down this week for maintenance, and oh, the other mill's gonna shut down another week because the dumper broke, and the other one, and, it, and you're just in the middle of a giant ping pong game, and you're the ball that's bouncing back and forth, and hopefully you can stay on the table. It's just kind of how it works. But anyways. Um, I'll we'll call on there right now because I can I can smash out in a couple minutes. That's some nice logs there. So here, let's go. I don't I didn't even look for this on, under this machine. Um, so let's go down down below our uh, loader here, and we'll see what we can find. How about that? And I'll show you exactly how this works. 
we're out here. I will show you the top half. I can't get to the bottom half because I'll show you in a second. So, see this round thing here, right? See that? That's exactly what the bottom looks like, except for it's got a lot more of them hoses popping out of it. Because you got sections. So you know, with that whole thing. So, straight underneath this, look at that nasty grease. Japers, japers. I uh, got underneath there and I can't, I mean, I could lift the machine off the ground, way up off the ground and crawl up underneath it, but it's really difficult to see because it is right here. Both the sides are like that. Can you get up in there? Nope. Still can't see. Let me see if you can. I can't even see it from where I'm at. But anyways, there's a bunch of hoses coming out of that thing. And <coughs> I got some sauce in my mouth. So when you... Uh, blow a hose in the bottom half as you can tell it's very difficult to get through get th <coughs> through too and uh yeah it's no fun replacing hoses coming off from that so because it's all protected in there just the way it goes and then there's a valve bank here with your electronic solenoids for all this there's a valve bank underneath here for the solenoids for all your driving stuff that's how it works Hopefully that answers your question on the slasher. I got to get back to work. Empty. But yeah, it's just like that at the bottom, except there's just a lot more coming out of there. So thanks for watching. I get back to work. Just keep rolling.